Hello everyone and welcome to my video on my visit to the German Football Museum in Dortmund. After Germany hosted the 2006 World Cup, it was decided that the profits made from hosting the tournament would be used to fund the creation of a museum dedicated to the history of German football. It was decided that the museum would be situated in North Rhine-Westphalia, which is Germany's most populated state. Many cities such as Cologne, Überhausen and Gelsenkirchen showed interest, but it was eventually decided that Dortmund would be the location of the museum and it eventually opened in 2015. The museum layout is done on two different floors. The top floor is dedicated to the achievements of Germany's national men and women's teams, while the bottom floor is dedicated to German club football. When you go into the museum, the first room you'll enter is full of items and memorabilia. You can spend well over an hour looking at them in that room alone. For me, one of the most interesting things I found in the museum was relating to the East German team, which played the eventual winners of the 1974 World Cup, West Germany, and the game took place in Berlin's Olympic Stadium. The East Germans produced a surprise 1-0 win, and it was the only game ever played between East and West Germany. There was also memorabilia from the miracle of Bern, which is when Germany shocked the Hungarian side, which included the great Ferenc Puskas. West Germany, as they were known back then, beat Hungary 3-2 in the World Cup final in Bern, Switzerland in 1954. This was West Germany's first World Cup appearance after being banned from the 1950 World Cup due to the aftermath of World War II. As you go through the exhibitions, you will come across a variety of video, video presentations and you can do interactive presentations as well of iconic moments from German football history. While you walk through the museum, you can see a lot of artwork depicting fans of your favourite German teams. So look out for your favourite team. You might see them when you walk through the museum. I'm a Borussia Dortmund fan and I spotted Borussia Dortmund plenty of times on the walls. If you love trophies, you'll love this museum. You can see a lot of trophies in both international trophies and club trophies. You can see all the World Cup trophies Germany have won over the years, which is both the Jules Rimet trophy, which they won in 1954, and the one-day FIFA World Cup trophy you know today, which they won in 1974, 1990, and the most recent triumph, 2014. Germany has also won three different European Championship titles. You can see trophies representing their win in Euro 72, Euro 1980 and Euro 96. The women's game is also very well represented. You can see the trophies the women's team won in 2003 and 2007 and all seven women's European Championships Germany have won as well. For me the most interesting trophy is in the club section and that is the Victoria Trophy which is the pre-German championship trophy named after the Roman goddess of victory. You can relive all your favourite dramatic moments and even shop for and buy souvenirs. And there's also a cafe in the museum so you can have an eat or drink either before or after your visit. If you want to visit the museum, it is very easy to get there. It's situated just outside Dortmund's main railway station. Uh, all you need to do is cross the road and then you're there at the entrance. Dortmund is served by both regional intercity and also Germany's iconic intercity express trains, also known as the ICE trains. Dortmund is served by trains from Berlin, Cologne, Hamburg and Frankfurt, but bear in mind only a limited number of services go directly between Berlin and Frankfurt to Dortmund. So you might have to change at Cologne, which I did, or Dusseldorf if you're coming from Berlin. When I visited Germany in November 2019, I stayed in Frankfurt and ran around the country using my Interrail Pass. 
interrail pass is just for European residents. So if you live outside of Europe, you'll need to get an EU rail pass, but they do the same thing. I'll post the details in the links below for both websites. If you're wanting to fly and visit Dortmund, by flying in, you can fly into any of Germany's main airports. I use Frankfurt Airport, which is the main hub for Lufthansa. And you could fly directly to Frankfurt from just about any country in the world. Frankfurt is Germany's Heathrow. There are smaller airports closer to Dortmund. Dortmund has its own airport, which is only served by short haul flights and low cost operators. But you can also fly into Bonn, Cologne or Dusseldorf, which are the main hubs for Eurowings, which is a low cost subsidy of Lufthansa. So if you decide to, if you decide to visit the German Football Museum, upload your video of your experience and I'll we'll also talk about it in the comment sections. So I'll be really interested to know how you what you make of the German Football Museum. I've never been to the National Football Museum in Manchester. I'm planning on visiting that next and I'll make a video on that and I'll see how they compare to the two museums compare. I've also visited the F Scottish Football Museum in Hampden Park as well and I'll visit there again and make a video of that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy the rest of the pictures in the slideshow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!